Meantime, the House Oversight Committee planned to hold its first public hearing to investigate potential COVID aid fraud. A new report by the government watchdog now identifying more than $5 billion that it says may have gone to firms using suspicious Social Security numbers. Roughly $5 trillion in federal uh, stimulus aid has been approved since the spring of 2020. With us now is Congressman James Comer of Kentucky, chair of the Oversight and Accountability Committee. Uh, Maybe this was to be expected, but obviously not good news. What have you seen and, and what do you think it really suggests here? Well, I think that five billion number is going to be very, very short. Uh, I think that uh, what we're going to find out is we had massive fraud in the hundreds of billions of dollars all throughout the pandemic spending. Remember, in the name of COVID, Congress spent record amounts of money. But what we're going to learn is, unfortunately, there were very few safeguards. Uh, on this money to prevent fraud. Uh, we're going to see how susceptible we are to cyber fraud uh, from government agencies, especially the unemployment insurance agencies uh, in all 50 states. Uh, there were many cyber attacks. There were lots of people that, that got uh, PPP loans who weren't eligible. And so much of this pandemic spending uh, didn't go where it was intended. Uh, for example, the Department of Education money was supposed to go to help make schools safer to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Uh, many school districts didn't use it for that. Hospitals got lots right. and lots of money uh, that they didn't use where they were intended. And this is unfortunately going to be the first hearing in Congress to uh, identify the waste and try to hold people accountable for wrongdoing. So, Chairman, one of the things that I remember talking to uh, Treasury Secretary Mnuchin during this period was there was a real effort, as you'll remember, to get the money out and to get it out quickly. And there was almost a view that there would be fraud, there would be waste and abuse and other things. And that was almost, I hate to say it, the cost of doing business, that if you wanted to actually get the money out to as many Americans as quickly as, as we did, and I think there's a lot of people, at least from some of the early, early tranches that went out, who thought that, that speed over everything else was, was the point, um, but that was the right way to do it. Uh, of course, now we're looking back and saying it could be done better. Everything could be done better, always. But how do you think about that? Well, I think you're right, unfortunately. And I think that you know, what Mnuchin talked about was the first round, the CARES Act. Uh, then when Biden became president, we had, you know, two more stimulus bills and the American Recovery Plan, the Inflation Reduction Act, which only increased inflation. So the massive amount of spending over the last three years, which spans two administrations, is breathtaking. And what we're going to learn is a significant percentage of this money uh, did nothing to help people who were suffering from COVID, either from illnesses or from uh, you know businesses being shut down. And what you're going to learn is agencies like the Small Business Administration, there were tools in their toolbox to prevent massive amounts of fraud, but for whatever reason, they were never activated. So we've got to put guardrails in place in these government agencies, and we've got to learn from the mistakes. And, you know, history's not going to be kind uh, when, when we go back and, and uh, read about all the actions Congress took to try to stimulate the economy as a result of COVID. Chairman, what penalties, what uh, consequences are there going to be for the people who committed fraud and for the institutions? You mentioned dollars misspent at schools and at hospitals. Uh, how are they going to be held accountable? Uh, well, what we've got one of the witnesses today will be the, the leader of the, social, uh, the Secret Service Fraud Division. Uh, they've had a little amount of success in clawing the money back. That's our first priority to see if there's any way to get some of this fraudulent money back in uh, to the Treasury. But secondly, we want to hold people accountable for wrongdoing. Uh, and that's why we've got both the inspector general going to be testifying today, as well as the head of the Secret Service Fraud Division. Uh, we're going to find out anything that Congress can do now that we have a Republican majority who's serious about making spending cuts, who's serious about trying to get government under control, government spending under control to where the government can live within its means. And, and I think we're going to learn today uh, where we can begin. So this is going to be a long, drawn-out process. Unfortunately, if this had been done two years ago, if we had had congressional oversight over this spending two years ago, I don't think we would have wasted as much money as, as we're going to learn has been wasted right. today.